Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Shout out to all my lost boys. We rowdy. Shout out to all my lost boys. Cheerleaders. I want to reflect for just a minute about cheerleading as, as I know from a from an old school guy and a, a guy that grew up around athletics and sports. And cheerleading back when I can first remember it was a, a support group uh, that were and a very big part of the pageantry of high school, intercollegiate, and even uh, professional athletics. Cheerleading's always been a big part of athletics. But what I've seen it grow into through the past couple of decades is it's taken on, it maintains its support role, but it's also moved into a field of athletic competition in itself that is very intense and very demanding. I've seen it on TV. I've seen the state championships here held at this gym several years ago, and it's absolutely amazing what these student athletes, these cheerleaders, uh, subject themselves to <laughs> and do. You, you couldn't pay me any amount of money to do what some of these kids could do from an athletic standpoint. Now, I have with me here our sponsors for our team this year, uh, Kim Mangum and Shamika Gandhi, and I want to ask them a couple of questions as we get started for you to meet our team. First of all, and I'm going to start with you, how are the team, how's the squad chosen? Uh, in March, we had a trial, which they had so many requirements they had to do. And we had judges from out of town to come in, and they actually selected and took the highest numbers. So you get out of town judges. Out of town judges. I can imagine that it's very competitive to be on this squad. It is. Uh, how many, do you know roughly how many tried out? Uh, we started out with like 60, and it came down with all the requirements to, I think we ended up with about mm, 30, something. Let me ask you this. What leaves you... Into the, to, to want to offer yourself to serve in a role as a, I guess a sponsor. Is that the right name? Yes. Sir. Okay. What? Well, how did you get? How did you get this from this role? Well, I did cheer in high school, and when I heard that Coach Mangum was coming back, and she was going to be the head cheer coach, and I said that I wanted to assist her. And she she let me she let me on the team. Okay. All right. Now, what what made you? What, what, what led you to this, this role? Well, I also cheered a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, my daughter cheered all yeah. the way through from middle school all the way up and competitive cheer. And I, I got really stressed. And when I came back, they asked me. And I knew what potential these girls had. And I just wanted them to be at a point, a high, their highest point. And so we just, Shemek and I got together, and I couldn't do it without her. And I got together, we, we did, and, and we felt like we had the top top girls that can get us where we want to go. Let me ask you this now. Uh, continuing education is what you know, everybody wants to go, but well, most everybody wants to go to the next level. Are there scholarship opportunities? Are there, are there postgraduate uh, opportunities for these, for these girls? Yes, sir. So, so they, they can get uh, money toward education just like the, the football players? Just, just like the football players. Mm -hmm. So you can be recruited. Okay. Well, what we're going to do now, we're going to try to explain it to, to ourselves as much as we are to our crew here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to let you introduce our captains. And we're going to ask our captains uh, to come out here and join us. And uh, both of you come on. One join this side and one get on the other side of Coach Gandy here. And, and who have you got there? This is Lindsay Walker. She's a senior this year at Wayne County High School. Is it a given that the captains are always seniors? Okay, so Lindsay Walker, a senior. How long have you been doing this? For four years. Four years. I did Okay, and who do we have over here? A brick heel. And you're a senior. <laughs> senior you're playing. How long have you been doing this? Since Coach Walker. Okay. How are the captains determined? The girls vote. The girls vote. Okay. Okay. 
Well, what we're going to do now is we want you to meet the entire Wayne County High School, I would say this is varsity and junior varsity squad, and we're going to ask each one of our ladies to step front and center right here and introduce themselves to you as they, when they do, they'll move on to the other side. So, please. I'm a senior, my name is Maddie Freeman. I'm a senior, my name is Nikki Bunch. I'm a senior, my name is Shelby Simmons. I'm a junior, my name is Baisha Williams. I'm a sophomore, my name is Emily Rivet. I'm a sophomore, my name is Emily Finley. <laughs> I'm a sophomore, my name is Macy Perry. I'm a sophomore, my name is Caitlin Miller. I'm a junior, my name is Tessa Blaine. I'm a junior, my name is Savannah Sharkey. Hey, I'm a junior, my name is Mackenzie Hutto. I'm a junior, my name is Skylar Caves. I'm a sophomore, my name is Dakota Schumann. <laughs> I'm a freshman, and my name is Brianna Walters. I'm a freshman and my name is Bailey Porter. I'm a freshman and my name is Kaylee Wilkerson. I'm a freshman and my name is Alex Woods. I'm a freshman and my name is Cortland Clinton. I'm a junior, my name is Ashley Smith. I'm a junior, my name is Victoria Jones. I'm a junior, my name is Savannah Mason. I'm a freshman, my name is Virginia Lacey. I'm a freshman and my name is Maya Okay, now, come on, come here. Now, what, 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 what we got, who, do we reveal the identity? Well, this is Ralph. Okay. Our, our, our rowdy is Natalie Howe. Okay. She's okay. a junior. A junior. Okay. A rowdy. Yeah. Thank you, rowdy. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> that is our 2013-2014 Wayne County High School Warrior Varsity Junior Varsity Cheerleaders and Rowdy with our captains and our coaches. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be back with our captains to discuss cheerleading at Wayne County High School. After this word from our sponsor. I've been criticized and doubted. They talk like I ain't about it. I'm a volcano ready to erupt. So I came here to get rowdy. Competitions talking reckless. But that's what I expected. I'm the white Howard of this game. So all that nonsense gets rejected. I need rage up in this stage. I'm the king of this arena. Okay, we're back with our captains. And we're going to try to get you guys to share a little bit with us about some of the experiences this summer. Okay, let's talk about the past for, for a little bit. And I understand y'all went to a cheer camp this summer. Tell us about cheer camp. This is what we're interested in knowing. About how did, did you all go? About how long did it last? And what did you do? Well, our whole squad went to even the ninth graders. And we went to Southern Miss University. And we stayed for about four days, three nights, I think. And we just, we competed some. And we cheered. And we had cheer offs. And People won awards. And... Did you stay on site over there for the three, three or four days, or did you just come back and forth? We stayed in the campus. Was that a, a, a new experience for y'all, or is that? A we stayed over there. Yeah, we got the first year. Okay, okay. Now you have a, a pretty, I imagine a pretty rigid schedule. You got to get up at the same time, do the same things, and go to bed at the same time. Tell me about that. Speak loud, man. We had to wake up like every morning, like six, because we had to get ready to go. To do you think that doing everything like a squad like that did it have an impact on you as a group do you think or did any changes or anything discovered uh, it made us feel like a family and you had to be on time for everything so 
If you had to guess, not just counting Wayne County squad, but all the cheerleaders, how, how many people do you think were involved in that camp? Hundreds? Hundreds? It's a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Being a big deal, I understand that we had some, uh, maybe some award recipients from the from the summer camp. Would you like to share it? Well, throughout the camp, they had the UCA staff to go around and look at people to try out for All-American, and then we tried out for All-American in front of everybody, parents and UCA staff and our squad, and we had good support, great support, and we tried out, and we, that night we got awarded the medal to see who made it, and whoever made it got a chance to take a trip to a So if you made All-American, you could go to London. If you want to. Okay, okay. <laughs> What about the Macy's Day Parade? I read something about that. Is that the captain? So you, you guys have an opportunity to go to Macy's Day? Yeah. Well, well, are you going or what? I don't know. Don't yet. know yet? Okay. Okay. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, were there any competitions during the summer, or was the cheer camp the, the focus of your summer activities as a squad? Well, during the cheer camp, there was competition. Like we had to compete with defensive cheers, offensive cheers, like general cheers, and we had a, a palm, our whole squad was a palm squad, and we divided the night from the varsity. And we competed with that for the church. How big, a, how big a part does gymnastics play in what you do as a cheerleader at Wayne County High School? Is that a big part of it? Is it a little more to it than stand and say, go, go, go? Yeah, it's a lot way more to it than stand and say, go, go. How much training? goes into your gymnastics, your your tumbling or how, how much? Most of the girls go like three days a week like outside of you just to make sure they still have it. But we also have a gym here every Thursday that we want to buy. Okay. So there's an awful lot that goes into it. Now let me ask you this. I'm a sure I'm sure there's cheers and there's routines. Now who determines the routines for the that are going to be performed by the Wayne County High School Warrior Chair? Like the competitions that we do in December? Well, uh, yes. Okay, well, we have two or four salons. Yeah, from Hattiesburg. They come, we take gym class from here every Thursday or Monday. And then they take it for the choreograph, everything, cheers, dances, stunts, everything. So you have like a consultant group that comes in and, and they set you, they probably evaluate your squad, and then they come up with the, the routines that you're going to do. Yeah, they come in and watch our tumbling and how the sharpness people have and dancers, they put those people up front and tumble in, when will that When will you know what that routine is? We learned it like a week ago. Oh, okay. Okay, will you be doing that during the games or will you save that specifically for competition? We'll You'll save it. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. How, uh, how often do you, you may have touched on this a while ago, but say, Cheerleader, cheerleading practice. How often, starting right now, the school's in session, does this squad meet and practice? Every day, four o'clock. Every day. And then uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Mondays, it's from six to eight. Wednesdays, it's from six to eight. Thursdays, it's from six to eight. Fridays, it's from six to eight. Saturdays, it's from six to eight. Sundays, it's from six to eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 You mentioned something, Friday's the game night, that's a perfect segue into this question. I know you've got your own thing going, uh, and, 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 it's, and it's huge as me, but also the traditional role of the cheerleader is Friday night. So how do you uh, view, what do you see as the purpose of this squad on Friday nights between under the lights of Wayne County High School? Cheer our boys on. Cheer the boys on. Keep the crowd roaring for them. Let me ask you this. Now, you're looking out here, there's going to be people watching this show that are fans, what do you need them as captains of this squad to help you do to cheer the boys? Keep the crowd and help our student section, any teenagers, help our student section, and we'll grow, grow, grow. We need to fill up our new stands for sure. Participate, yeah. be a part of it. Okay. Be loyal to our squad and to our team. I want to, uh, to ask if you would, I'm going to ask our remaining seniors, if you would, to join us equally. You know, spread yourselves out on each side. All right. All righty, ladies. Now, 
Everybody's going to get a shot at this question. And uh, I want to know, we're going to start with you. And again, I want you, I, when you start, I want everybody, I want you to tell everybody your name. You're all seniors, I want to tell you your name, and then you discuss this, if you will. Uh, what are your expectations for the Wayne County High School cheerleading squad this year? What do you expect out of it? Answer that question first. What are your expectations? Um, I expect out of my team the very full potential that we can do. I believe, personally, that we can and will get state or a very, very high place in state. And I'm very excited about going to nationals this year to go to Disney World. It's our first time, and I'm very excited about that. And I know that we'll do good. I, I know we We're going to kind of rotate these questions. Now, I'm going to come back. I'm going to change the question up on you. Okay? When you're, this, you're a senior. This is your last year. When you finish, when you, 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 you tumbled your last tumble and you made your last year, when you look back, what do you think that having been a Wayne County High School cheerleader is going to mean to you? I mean, cheerleading is really just like a part of my life, and being able to be on the Wayne County cheerleading squad is really a reward because not everybody gets a chance to be on this team. So I'll be able to look back and say that I was lucky enough to be on this team, not everybody was. Okay, that's awesome. Now I'm going to come to you, I'm going to ask you again, uh, okay, your expectations. Now this is not a kind everybody's got their own ideas. What are your expectations for this fall? I think that our team has a lot of potential and I think that we'll do very good throughout the whole year. And we're just all very excited about the potential that we have on this squad and we're gonna go very far this year. Believe to achieve. I believe we've got a lot of belief here now. We're gonna close out this thing pretty quick. I wanna ask you, looking back, when you walk away from cheering here, what is having been a cheerleader here at Wayne County High School, what do you think that's gonna to mean to you? First of all, I got the best coach alive, so she she put a great impact on my life, and she made it what it is, and she made it the best road trip it ever been. And I'm going to give you, as a captain, the same question. What's it going to mean to you, looking back? Well, like she said, we have the best coaches around, and I most definitely will miss cheering on the sidelines for, under the Friday night lights. And, just being around family and sisters and spending my time with them. It will be different going to college and not being with them. And I'll miss it so much. And competitions, competing, and tumbling, all that good stuff. <laughs> Cheerleading is not what it used to be when I was in high school, longer ago than anybody cares to even remember. Uh, it still has all of those characteristics and all of that role and purpose that it had in the beginning. But as you can see, it's a whole new ball game in 2013-2014 uh, for the things that these young ladies have to do and the commitment that it takes to do the things that they need to do to cheer the boys on yeah. and to strive for excellence in the competitions that they will undertake as a squad themselves as they compete for a state championship. You've heard them. They're going to be doing their part come Friday nights uh, across the state and they're counting on you to participate to help them do what they need to do to bring another victory to Wayne County High School. We appreciate uh, appreciate you girls and all that you do and our coaches. And uh, we can't wait to see what you've been working so hard to bring on Friday nights. Thank you and see you on Friday nights. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to all my lost boys. Cha 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 cha.